sa 19th birthday ni Cory Aquino in Heaven ay nagpadala si Miss Chris Aquino ng open letter. Binati ng happy 90th birthday ang kanyang ina in Heaven at sinalaysay din niya ang lahat na pinagdaanan niya sa kanyang karamdaman. At siyempre, hindi siya nakalimot na magpasalamat sa lahat na nakaalala sa kanya at sa kanyang dalawang anak. Grabe, nakakalungkot. Kitang-kita ang pinagdaraanan niya basi sa mga photos and videos na ipinakita niya. Kahit hindi kayo close, kapag nakita mo ang video, ay talagang mapapadasal ka, maaawa at papatak ang mga luwa mo. Pero sa bandang dulo naman ay pinakita na may kasama na sila. Ipinakita din ang pamamasyal ni na Diyos at Bimbi doon sa US. Narito ang buong video at ang buong detalye ng open letter ni Miss Chris Aquino. Dear Mom, Happy 90th birthday in heaven. I prayed about my decision on whether to show everyone what it's been like because you never wanted anybody to know how difficult it was for you. Mom, naawa na ako kay ate because it's so hard for her to explain why I'm still here and why my treatment hasn't started. And I also wanted to show those who have been so kind to me, Kuya Josh and Bim, that this is what they have been praying about. It's from you I learned to always remember to say thank you and be grateful. I'll take this opportunity to explain, and fortunately, I'm allergic to so many types of medicine, and I have sets and adverse, meaning total opposite than what's expected, reaction to steroids. Normally, the first line of defense for autoimmune patients. I did the steroid challenge while still in Manila, May 6th, the Friday before elections. Four doctors were present giving me baby doses until we were at 80 mg. You see everything from heaven, but for the benefit of those who don't. 2.5 hours after my hives came out, from my face down to my legs. But worse than that, an hour after, kunting galaw and it was just so painful, deep bone pain. Worse than my bone marrow extraction, where I endured the post-procedure pain with no pain reliever because I'm allergic to opiums like morphine and fentanyl. Never spoke about it until now. They needed to just sedate me because someone with such a high pain threshold, hindi ko talaga kinaya, I cried like a baby. Bim, who was already in the States, pinaway ko because I needed him. Mom, he's the bunso you deserve. He's responsible, caring, not magastos. Puts my needs before his. Tito Noy would so be proud. In Houston, he could go to the firing range as long as accompanied by an adult. He's a natural. Here in California, with an adult, he can do clay shooting. Going back to my story, he arrived Thursday, May 12. It was only then that I forced myself to be lucid because my 6'1 baby was back and the world felt okay again. Mom, you keep saying I was the female Ninoy. None of my sisters have blood pressure issues, but... As I've shown, my fluctuations have been awful. I worry Ati so much when I send here the bad readings. So, I'm now screening what I send. Having four autoimmune conditions wasn't enough. But good news, ma'am, in my genetic screening, no organs or body areas were detected to carry any cancer gene, including the colon and my blood. That was a super thank you God moment. You used to say for me, there was never a happy medium. You were as always correct. To clarify the four conditions I have are chronic spontaneous urticaria, 
autoimmune thyroiditis, charged stress syndrome, now called EGPA, and Christ syndrome or scleroderma. Seems from all my physical manifestations, I am highly likely to already have a PIF, and there's a 50% chance of autoimmune condition number 6. Mom, I waited this long because I really wanted to be seen by Dr. Gata. No, he's not the CNN doctor. That would be Dr. Sanjay Gupta, a neurosurgeon. We did our research and he has had many studies and papers published. And his fields of expertise are primary immunodeficiency, allergies, and autoimmune cases that are hard to define. But on your birthday, here we're going to the happiest place on earth. My promise for Koya, time for your birthday. I really pray kakayanin ko, even just five rides, so Koya will have happy memories during this whole ordeal. It's because of the example you set that even when my deep bone pain is awful or my vascular urticaria is everywhere, I don't complain. I want Koya and Bim to say they are worth all the pain and discomfort because I know they still need me. Mom, the best tribute I can offer you is that even those who say they hate my guts. Always put a qualifier. Saludo raw sila sa pagpapalaki ko kay Kuya and Bimb. Parehong respectful. Affectionate. Hindi namimili sa taong kakaibiganin. Bimb, so many adult he has conversed with, are amazed that he is so knowledgeable about so many things. Kuya is so cute and adorable. Yes, ma'am. I know he's fat again is how they describe him. And I always say, I had the best real model in the world. I'm forever going to be proud to be Cory's baby and the mama of Koya, Josh, and Bimb. You told me many times, I'll only have a successful relationship if I find your male version. But with all I've been through, I finally see so much of you in me. What I'm trying to say, mom, is I'm no longer looking for someone to complete me. Finally, realize the truth in what you'd always say to me. Christina, know your worth. Yes, mom, I do. Mm -hmm.